I mean, you gotta put the whole hip into it and snap it and get all your energy in there. His name is Bruce Lee. I'm so pleased and honored to have a very special guest with me. Her name is Sifu Fran Joseph. She is the wife of one of Bruce Lee's original five students, the late Jerry Poteet, Sifu Jerry Poteet. I started martial arts when I was seven years old. I've been doing it for decades, decades and decades. I have black belts in several different arts. I boxed, I kickboxed, and I also was fortunate enough to train with several of Bruce Lee's top students, everybody from Jesse Glover to Jerry. And the thing that martial arts and Jeet Kune Do in particular teaches you is how to have control over your mind and your body. The man who taught karate, judo, and Chinese boxing. I don't want to tangle you in any dark. You <laughs> came at me pretty fast there. Martial arts isn't about fighting because most of us will never get into a fight, hopefully. <laughs> right. Yes, it's for self defense, but it's about controlling your mind. It's about training your mind to believe in yourself so that you can achieve anything. And learn that power rests within you not outside, mm. not outside of you and nowhere else. An entrepreneur in particular needs to believe in herself or himself. So you have to have control over your emotions and not get discouraged. He was an amazing athlete. He was also a visionary. He was a businessman. He was an entrepreneur. He was a philosopher. Extraordinary. He was extraordinary. But I've just been inspired by Bruce Lee, man. I've been studying martial arts and teaching for 42 years. Professor at UCLA, and I specialize in kinesthetic learning as related to mindfulness-based practices. Using no way as way, having no limitation as limitation, primary monikers that he used in the symbol for Jeet Kune Do. You're talking to Longstreet, played by James Francesca. I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. So Jerry used to quote Sun Tzu all the time, know your enemy and know yourself and you can win a thousand battles. The easy part is knowing your enemy. The hard part of that is knowing yourself. And as Bruce said to Jerry, it's the only thing that's constant is change. Yes. And you have to change with the changeless state. Everything's changing. You have to, you have to use that fitting in principle. How can we enter into a space with competitors where we actually are not even competing because we're totally in our own space? Yes, exactly. Somebody who's unique. The less you try, the better the outcome. Be well. See you, Fran. You too. All right, bye-bye. Bye. He started getting rejected, you know, by Hollywood, and he really wanted to be a movie star and bring martial arts to the big screen. And he wrote to himself, to hell with circumstances, I'll create my own circumstances. And I read that as a teenager and it, 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 like it literally made my body stand up and I, I rewrote it to myself and every year, anytime I had some adversity, some frustration, things were going right, I'd remind myself of that line that, that Bruce wrote to himself, to hell with circumstances, I'll create my own circumstances. That can be applied in so many ways, man. You know, chasing investors, chasing customers, finding a product market fit. Sphere throttles everything we do. Whether you're in business, should I make this pitch? Should I ask for more money? Should I quit my job? Should I become an entrepreneur? Should I invest in? Every decision we make unconsciously and consciously revolves around fear. And if you can't separate the psychology of fear from the physiology of fear, then you oftentimes mis misinterpret signals. People don't realize that you can't be brave if you're not afraid, that no one courageous is without fear. If you're doing something and you've had no fear, it doesn't take any courage to do it. So this applies to business, this applies to relationships, this applies to self-defense. His perspective was one of limitless growth, using no way as way, having no limitation as limitation, primary monikers that he used in the symbol for Jeet Kune Do. Some people would say that he was cocky. Uh, Self-admittedly, 
he had a problem with anger. So he was a human guy like everybody else. And I think the most important part of him is that he was constantly improving, he was constantly researching simplicity, economy of motion. So if you adapt that to more of a business-based context, an immediate application, simplicity, utilize what we have available to us, our resources, in the most efficient manner to yield the greatest benefit. It's just logical, it makes sense. And then being highly adaptable, it just simply means use what works. How do we get to a point at which we are operating with the maximum degree of efficiency with that spontaneous creativity that's just magic? And the Chinese call that wu wei, which is spontaneous action. And it happens in creativity, it happens in athletic activity, it happens to everybody. We've all had these experiences of when everything just aligns perfectly. How do you create that? All right, you take care, all right? So I think Bruce Lee is, a, is really, I think one of the most inspirational figures. And you take that philosophy and you figure out how can I think like Bruce Lee? You know, how can I be formless? How can I be like water? I can show you some really fancy movement, but to express oneself honestly, not lying to oneself, and to express myself honestly, you know, that, my friend, is <laughs> very hard to do. And you have to train, you have to keep your reflexes so that when you want it, it's there. See, because most of the Mandarin picture done here are dubbed anyway. They're dubbed anyway. Anyway. Thanks to dub.com. So Ruben Dua, who is one of our uh, adult students, and his, his son, Donnie. So thank you, Ruben. Thank you. Ji Kundo. So those of you who don't know, Jeet Kune Do's way of the intersecting fist, very popularized by uh, Bruce Lee. Some of you may have heard of it. 